Hello, what you're about to see is a presentation that I did at a local libertarian club, okay? So I did a Republican club and now I'm going to a libertarian. Now, why is that? Number one, first, it's because I want to unify people. And as you'll see in the speech that I make, I make that point very clear. Now, I'm also very optimistic about, you know, what is it that I want to achieve in the world? And the reason why I'm so optimistic is because it's completely possible to unify all people. The idea that it isn't possible is often the very problem because it actually is in just talking with one another, just opening that conversation, getting the ideas out there, changing the mind, change the world. It is impactful and we can start something new, something completely original with these people, with the leaders of these organizations. We could bring them all together as human beings under principles out of the desperateness of our situation to create the change so we can be in control of the system that be because we are meant to be in control of the system that be right we are human beings here to help one another as human beings it's a relationship that is simply between you and i as human beings no matter who you are it's about all of us whether you're this or ism or that ism that's what it's about so let's get right into the video so basically what i'm doing is uh i got my own thing going here promoting the natural law okay now what who is familiar here with that term natural law Okay, yeah, right, it's founded a lot of documents in America. We're not taught it in schools. It's considered occult knowledge, it's hidden from us. Ocular as an eye, occult. Uh, it's, it's all there, symbolism. I could go into it like deeper in depth, but it's not worth it. So anyways, um, there's even a, a researcher in Philadelphia who's the top leader of the natural law. He doesn't get very much media attention or anything. He doesn't consider himself libertarian or anything like that. I don't either, personally, um, for many different reasons I can explain. Uh, but I believe that if we wanted to actually change the world, especially being that we have limited time, no offense, but we're going to have like a big financial collapse. Uh, there were leaked U.S. You know, documents showing there was internment camps and so forth. Not that that's going to happen, but there is a lot of scenarios that are lining up as we see with uh, different events in the news. So we have to just be alert and uh, as human beings. Like I did go to a conservative uh, club around here just to see how open-minded people were to the whole thing um, about what I'm trying to do. So let me explain what I'm coming from with this. So it's more of like a proposal to you guys, if you will, um, who are more involved in this government system. So basically what I have is called nature is the answer because whether you look at natural medicine, natural law, or natural rights, all of those things are being trampled upon and people are becoming denatured in the sense of technology or through other lens. It basically applies all across the board. Not to mention it's the most universal term through all of medicine, through all of uh, religion, right? I mean, you could say nature is God in pretty much any sort of sense. Uh, and the golden rule, which is considered the natural law, is basically like the universal foundation to all religions, all ancient religions, you know, Christianity, uh, Buddhism, all of them, uh, at the general sense. So the natural law is also considered the law of attraction, the law of cause and effect, and that's uh, essentially how you can look at it, okay? So right, do unto others what you would want done unto you, so to speak. It's pretty simple at the end of the day. And um, you could go into depth into morality, because that's essentially what it's dictating, right? Like if you do something to somebody, this is what happens. There's certain reactions. People don't want to think there's an objective truth to this universe, but there is. And there's a nature to which all things manifest. People don't look into that lens of things. You may say it's too deep, it can't be taught, but this is the ancient knowledge that has been passed from generation to generation. Literally, the natural law has been through all philosophies and government foundations. Just look at the Declaration of Independence, it says it. You know, the laws of nature by which nature's God owns. It literally says that quote for quote. So just some examples uh, there. But it, it's, it's, like I said, it's everywhere. So what I have to talk about with nature is the answer is this is sort of my quote-unquote movement because I'm trying to unify all people. I'm not under one ism, like republic, uh, republicanism, you know, democraticism, whatever ism, whatever you want to call it, right? I would even consider libertarianism uh, an ism, okay? And a lot of people that I say libertarianism, they think it's liberal, you know, when they're not necessarily the same thing. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions. What people need is something new. And the reason why I say that is because people, the, the America was founded 300 years ago. We lost the principles that founded the nation. People waving an American flag is not enough to bring back 
the country itself. The country was founded on principles, on certain things, right? Like freedom of speech and all that. Even though that comes from nature, it doesn't come necessarily from America. It comes from essentially God. It's the law of freedom. And that even states that as morality increases, freedom increases. So like they are directly proportional. If morality declines, freedom declines. This is, this is again, like the universal principle. We're, what we're seeing right now in America is essentially like the Roman Empire. If anybody ever studied history, we kind of have some repeats here and we could also learn from different degrees. Let's just say a lot we were taught doesn't really add up and a lot of it is kind of kept away from us. But aside from that, what I'm trying to unify people under are those simple principles, right? So family, something that's kind of going out the window, simple things like gender. Okay, now that, oh, controversial, I'm mentioning gender. That's just, that's an actual law in nature, you know, the principle of gender, principle of polarity, sun and moon, yin and yang. Sex and gender with, yes, yes. For another day. Right, that's correct, that's correct. Right, and that's the principle of polarity, principle of correspondence, right, relativity. These are aspects of the natural law. People don't really know this because, again, they keep it away from you on purpose because knowledge is power. So essentially, if you had that knowledge, you would have power, and they wouldn't. It's quite that simple. They keep away certain levels of knowledge because based on those beliefs, you act in accordance to those beliefs. It becomes who you are. So a lot of people are believing in different forces, um, needless to say, and I'm willing to discuss this with anybody here because a lot of what I could be saying is a little confusing in certain senses to say that, like, for example, we're all enslaved. Because technically, by definition, we are when we allow these certain people to rule over our natural rights, okay? And especially like through forms of taxation, for example, where we're forced to pay taxes, and if we don't obey with that, we go to jail by force, by violence. Though. Not necessarily by force, but by violence. So, you know, there's a difference, again, you know, between force and violence. You can get into the words, and it's a wordplay. It's semantics is what we call it. That's wordplay. And to keep it simple, I have a whole website for this. I produce over 35 hours worth of documentaries. I have book materials on the subject. I'm a health coach. I talk about health. Well, we heal the body from the inside out, right? We, we heal holistically, working with the blueprint of nature itself. And so we have to understand the very nature of the world, the very nature of government, if we seek to actually change anything. And sorry to tell you folks, but if we actually want to change anything, we must unify all people, whether they're Republican, Democrat, whatever. We have to escape our boundaries and be willing to propose something new, something that is universal, not necessarily just within a, a national line. So if you see where I'm getting at with this, I'm trying to bring this message to people. I'm myself doing the work, going out to people, giving them flags, giving them materials and stuff like that. What flags? I created the flag. Why? Because it represents our presence while we ourselves represent the truth. Okay, it's not about me, it's not about any one person, it's about all of us, because we have to be the change that we want to see in the world. These are principles, right? Like Gandhi said this. This is, again, like you see it in philosophy. That's why I have produced those documentaries. Because it's like, okay, we go through Gandhi, we go through Buddha, we go through basically everybody. Your website, where can we... Uh, yeah, so Nita.1 one is N-I-T-A dot O-N-E, nature is the answer dot one. And on the front page is everything you need to know. I even have a video that describes it. There's a simple and there's a complex version. I have disclaimers. I, but at the end of the day, it's simple, right? We want to promote conversation. Simply talking with one another is enough to create innovation. Neighbors don't even talk to each other anymore. You have people who, again, want to stay secluded in their echo chamber, whether that be the online communities that I'm in, right? These people are researchers. They may know a lot about the world, but they're afraid to bring it out there. They don't know how to bring it out there. Like I said, there's a researcher in Philadelphia. He's got amazing knowledge. He was a former Satanist, okay? Former Satanist priest, and he knows all the tactics behind the scenes of what happened. He was traumatized as a kid, essentially, in that whole system. And, and I, I think he deserves to have a voice upon the matter. He doesn't want to rule over his fellow men. Nobody in the right mind wants to rule over their fellow men. They want to help their fellow men, bring them up with them. Knowledge, right? Bring the knowledge to the public with them instead of using it for their own ego, left brain dominance. And, you know, if you were to bring it to medicine terms. So I understand whatever I could say may be, you know, could be, like I said, wordplay, could be speculated in different ways, I understand that, but generally speaking, we don't have much time with everything in the way the world is going, and I think we should really consider an actual grassroots cause, one that is actually grassroots, that could be universal throughout the whole world, and is simply created by conversation, that's it. it it's not much harder than just talking with one another and understanding our belief systems. 
and understanding the universal laws that are here, the universal truths. They're here for that reason. <laughs> People have studied them, they, they, some of them built their whole life into it, uh, and they basically consumed themselves into it. Um, and a lot of people got in trouble, obviously, bringing that to the public, but it's contradictory to fall into this government system and vote for people because it's not actually going to create any change. I'm sorry to tell you, but voting does not create change in this world. We are the change. Our actions create change. In a manifested level, what we say and what we do is what creates the change in the world. So we have to inspire other people. We have to talk to other people. And it is that simple. It really isn't much harder. Um, if we want to promote the love and the good things in life, well, why do we talk about politics? Does anybody actually find politics fun? Does anybody actually find talking about politics, like, enjoyable? Kind of all I do, yeah. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> but yeah that's it, why I'm miserable. <laughs> you're not a human anymore. You're, you're, it's just, you're, it's either, you're you know, a teleprompter, you're reading off some scripts, something that you've never created. It's like, people want to act like they're part of America. But uh, essentially, they never consented to it. They were born in this country. They were just born and be like, hey, whoa, you live in America, you're born. And just all of a sudden, here, as a citizen. And I'm allowed to speak my, my words because I'm in America. No, it's because I'm a human being and I'm just speaking. Uh, that's the truth. But instead, you know, we had to put a label on it and say, this is what it is. So there's, there's simple mindsets. If we change the mind, we change the world. If we change ourselves, we change the world. So if we can get the message out there, we actively seek to go to our fellow people and spread a universal cause, that's how it works. If people understand what statism is, what these ideologies are, because once those ideologies are out, the governments in place cease to exist. The people that are in it will, will naturally disintegrate. No violence required, nothing like that. You want freedom? That's where we go, at least in the one direction that we know we can go, which is talking with other people, using our human nature before we lose it, essentially. Because we're gonna lose it if we, if we don't talk to one another and create that conversation, use our nature to promote nature. Because technology is gonna overrun us, it's distracting us, it's telling us what to do. You've got people listening to you, propaganda, constantly mass information, people bombarded with messages, they're confused, they don't know where to go. So nature is not just healing and medicine, it's healing in all degrees. And so that's, that's simply it. And I'm willing to hear anybody's thoughts on that. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for being so passionate about what you had to say. We really appreciate you taking the time that's to give us all that stuff. Yeah, it looks like you turned water into wine. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing all that. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. We really appreciate all that. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I would encourage you also to look into the natural law. If you're somebody who truly wants to understand the universal truths of the world, that will help you get a holistic uh, idea of everything. I'm sure we all will definitely check it out. Absolutely. Yeah. But we got some bigger things right. to, to focus on over the next couple of months, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, but I also wouldn't mind, um, you know, proposing my ideas with you and not saying, like, we should start a whole new party, but that we no, get people... That's out of the question. But, but, that we, <laughs> right, but that we get everybody together. We look at them as a human being, not as this or that. I mean, that's literally contradictory in its self-nature. It's divisive in its nature. You know? I mean, that's, that's essentially what it is. I ask anybody, you know, do they like talk about politics? No. We don't have to talk like these terms, like yay or nay. We don't have to. We just be like, okay, is everybody agree? Sorry, but that's just the truth. Organizational policy matters just so that everybody knows. Yeah, no, you can do that. It's they fine. They feel heard and uh, yeah. that the process. Yeah. That's cool. We're all agreed on a process. It's know. no problem. It's just we need to get in touch with ourselves because we're getting too conflicted in this world. Well, maybe, maybe we can um, oh, I'll plan some retreats for the committee. Like maybe we'll get a, I'll get a cabin somewhere and like a weekend. Uh, to root this I mean, nature, you know? That's the thing. Like, that was in itself. Fears of the mind. Absolutely. I, I, I get out there and I hike. Yeah. I, I hike a lot. That's why I'm introducing this to you guys. It's like a problem that you're not going to say. And you're willing to think about it. You're willing to look deeper into it because you're not already in a two party system. Right. It's a great system. They want people against each other. So the only way we fix the system is actually bringing them all together, not introducing the third party. Well, I think the eventual goal is to have no parties. Yeah. No, uh, yes. But that's why it's a natural disintegration. Which we start with the belief system, changing the beliefs to so just conversation. Well, that's, that's the whole idea. Voluntary separation. It's a voluntary flaw.
much. That's what I would say is you need to break the paradigm and change people's minds. You got to do it persuasively and in the measurement that they can consume without being well. I feel like that's exactly what you That's one thing that I. I do. I guess if you were to label me, that would be something that I would accurately depict. But it's a simple libertarian. Libertarianism is an umbrella philosophy. It includes all this. Yeah, right. All other ones. You know, I'm not a libertarian socialist. I'm very far left. But, you know, I have more in common with right wing libertarians than I do with left wing libertarians, right? So, uh, it's, uh, we, all we all believe in freedom, right? Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's one direction that is clear to go because there's already one direction that says no to freedom. And, and, and most people are falling to that one system thinking that they aren't because they're still playing that system. They're not being the change. They're just they're pointing out the fingers at everyone. So, I mean, yeah, you, you, you seem like you get it. But what I want to do is bring this to I have a material, I have I was asking about having a flag too, but it's there to, it's a neutral, but it's saying anything on it. If you look at the image, it's like, it, it actually has the N-I-T-A, and uh, it's a tree, there's the with the sun, and it's incomplete circle, because there's always work to be done. It's meant to be generational, I can tell my child, like, I'm sorry, before you continue, wall. can I put you on film? It's on, it's for his YouTube channel, he can totally blur your face and like, yeah, is it okay? Okay. Just so, there's, yeah. Yeah, I don't usually, we don't usually record conversations, but not. No, we don't. Just whatever you're talking. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So the, the logo and everything is neutral. Like, the, the white flag actually stands for unity and brings people together. Um, and it's not, like, major symbolism. That's what these elites are obsessed with. Um, and, like I said, the incomplete circle, because there's always work to be done. It's generational, so I tell my child, like, this is the law of the land. You treat others with respect. It's a non-aggression principle. It's not much harder. You can say hi to my, my YouTube channel. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, that's why I'm libertarian. That's why I do what I do in a professional life. It's all comes down to that. You're getting, you're in the right direction. You do understand, but like, also our third parties, a little times we feel like it's a tool to be able to advocate freedom and change people's minds. But it's like, you it's so bad. like people will say libertarian is this or that, they jump to the food. There's a lot of Republicans that are like just like minded, I'd say, as libertarians. They just you know, I, right now I'd say in this political landscape, they're kind of similar to yeah, some degree. And it was to the culture. Right, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's true. Um, it, that's essentially what it's like. That's what that's what I have to get out there, um, and that's why I have this website, all the material I produce. So I'm trying to make it universal. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I'll go and probably. Well, it's my end of the early night sleep because I'm driving all the way up to New York to Kansas for um, queer tomorrow. The reason why the flag is simple though, just so you know, is it's dependent on conversation. Like this. It makes people talk to one another, initiates conversation. Because again, so, here? so this actually uh, I can describe this. So this is uh, it says the slavery of humanity is the problem. Um, living according to the natural law is the solution. This is just one aspect, right, of, of nature, um, but that is obviously the, the scale balance. Lex Rex, so the law is the king. That's what it stands for. The king is not the law, the law is the king. That's okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> there you go. I did go to seminary. That's good. That's good. You can learn a lot from Latin and Greek. Um, I studied Greek and Hebrew much more. Okay. Yeah, and that's really interesting. Yeah, because um, this is a website for the guy in Philadelphia. He's just one researcher among many, but he is this stuff is really in depth. Like you're talking word for word detail. Because it, I mean, he's the most modern teacher in the Like there is. Um, I mean, just the unbelievable amount of detail. I'm not one to promote another individual, but this work is like meant for unity, and it's just goodness gracious the detail. Is there a link to him on your site? Yes, so under the advanced tab is his lectures on natural law. Um, on his website, he has a lot more other stuff. I'm sure you can like look up his name and you'll get his uh, websites and stuff. What's cool is he's in Pennsylvania, you know, which a lot of researchers and stuff are not usually in, in this area. So one day I could visit him, and his whole team is very kind, his people are very open minded. But like I said, they don't have a direction to go because if they're not left or right or libertarian, they don't know how to take action. That's where I'm trying to come in. It's like we know the why, we know the problems, but we need to know the how. That's how they're facing it. Yeah.
Adam, that's you. Thank you. I'm just tossing my plastic right now. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you can please give it a like or share it with your friends and family, that would be great. People perhaps that are libertarian. If you want to do the Republican one, do people who are Republican, but help them see this bigger picture because that's all I'm trying to provide here and that we can be the change for once. We don't have to look up to anybody to do it. We can be the change. You can look up to me as perhaps an inspiration, but I'll look to you as well as a fellow human being who is not any more special than me. Right? We all have this power to change the world. And I also want to thank my sister for helping me with that recording process. So thank you to her. Uh, her name is Crystal Angela. I'll have her channel linked in the description below. So please, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe, of course. And get that flag, that free flag I could send you, because that way it represents our presence as we represent the truth ourselves. Thank you very much. Please consider my words. This is a generational movement that I hope will change the world, and I know it will change the world if we put the effort into it. The more effort we put in, the more we will get out. Thank you for watching. This is Corey Angelot. Nature is the answer. Nita.1. Dang, Corey! Wasn't that good? So good! <laughs>